We've been renting for a while now, and it feels like the timing is right to make the leap to home ownership. After all, your friends are all buying houses and your job feels pretty stable. How many more hints that it's time to settle down could you really need? Welcome, Big Lloyd Dotson here, and if you've given it considerable thought, are certain you can cover emergency costs like unexpected roof replacement or furnace repair, and you have a realistic expectation of what you can afford, then full speed ahead. Buying a house is a trying experience, but hopefully during this edition of Just Ask Big, I'll talk about not making it significantly worse by avoiding credit mistakes. So join me after the break, and I'm gonna share with you the five credit mistakes to avoid when buying a home. Okay, we're back. So let's face it, everybody makes mistakes, especially when it comes to their credit. The process by which your credit score is generated has long been in the shadows, making it easy to misstep without even knowing it. However, there are certain mistakes that homeowners and buyers make again and again, and they're impactful to your credit score. What are they? One, not knowing what your credit file is to begin with. The last thing you need is a bit of a surprise when you go to apply for a mortgage. If you have collections that you're unaware of, judgments that were never served to you, or just plain bad information in your file, these items have to be handled now. It can take a while to completely erase the effects of any negative information in your credit file, so you need to get started right away. Go to annualcreditreport.com for your once a year free credit report. Download that thing and print it out. Check it line by line for accuracy and contact any agent's collection so that they know that you can work out a payment plan, clear your cable bill from your old college apartment that you've totally forgot. Number two, applying for mortgages over a long period of time. Sure, it makes sense to pull your credit file six months to a year ahead of when you plan to purchase, since there might be those surprises that are gonna take time to fix. If you pull your scores yourself, it's not as big of a hit as if you had a lender checking your score, say, every single month. When you're definitely ready to buy, do all your mortgage shopping within a 14 to 45 day window. Ask your lender how long credit inquiries for mortgages will take and make sure you only do the single credit pull. Otherwise, so many hard pulls are going to hurt your purchase going forward. Three, opening new lines of credit in anticipation of closing. Did you give any thought to skipping the line and buying a new couch today rather than after your closing? How about doing that while maxing out a brand new credit line? This is a huge, terrible mistake that's made commonly. It makes sense, I understand. You wanna be ready for your move. You want everything done when the keys are given to you. The problem is a new inquiry on your credit is a double whammy. It's hard pull on your credit, which reduces your score slightly. Secondly, if you use that credit line, your debt to income ratio increases and your utilization rate may also increase. Pay attention, don't take out new credit. Your credit score, debt to income ratio, credit utilization, all those take a big hit and your loan may actually be canceled at the last minute when underwriting is re-verifying your application. Number four, maxing out existing credit lines. Moving is expensive, even if just across town. The truck alone can cost hundreds even if you're doing it yourself. There's nothing wrong with renting a truck or hiring a mover or even hiring a whole bunch of movers. Just do it after your closing. You see, if anything changes is negative about your credit score, utilization, your debt to income ratio is stated above, this is not a drill. They could cancel it. And finally, number five, failing to forward your bills. After closing, you could still make a few credit mistakes problems related to your move. Did you remember to pay that last utility bill at your old place? How about the broadband? It may seem like an error that you can avoid, but when you're moving and the stress and the haze, sometimes it's all you can do to grab that pot of coffee, remember to forward your bills. Your credit is important. Don't forget to pay those final bills. Remember, above all else, information is only as good as the implementation. So now it's up to you to apply these great tips you've learned here today. Buying a house with a mortgage can feel like an exercise in paperwork collection and frustration, but the truth is that all of it's necessary for you to get the very best price from your lender. After all, what they're really doing is trying to ensure your success with their loan, and ultimately, everybody wins. When you succeed, they succeed. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you'd like to learn more tips on buying and selling real estate, make sure to watch my other Just Ask Big videos. 
or if you want me to help you personally with the buying and selling of your real estate, you can contact me toll free at 833-ASK-BIG. That's 833-ASK-BIGG. For those that don't want to look up the letters on the phone pad, that's 833-275-2444. Okay, thanks for joining me.